So I lied a bit. In the previous video, I said that in this video, we would work on editing data from the database. But in order to do that, we need to understand displaying data in groups. So we learned about giving a group a type of content. And for this exercise, I'm just going to give it a basic type of text. Then I can give it a data source, but I'm actually going to leave it blank. Here I have some text and I just want it to show the parent group's text. Since I currently have the data source of this text as blank, when we preview this, we can see that although the text is quite clearly there, it's got no value in it. And if we look at this group, we can see that its text is empty. Okay, so I want to be able to type something into the input. Hello, click save and have that be shown as the text over here. Since this text is referencing the parent group's text, I need to somehow set the data source of this equal to this input's value, but only when I click the button save. The way we do this is under element actions, we want to display data. We are going to choose our group, and then we just want to display the input's value. This is taking that input's value on the button click and showing, sending this data to the group and the group then stores it and our text will reflect that. Let's test this. I'm going to go over here and type in a hello and then we can click save. The button is clicked so then it displays data in the group and the data it displays is the input's value and we see that over here. I can change it to what's up gang and that's what we see because this group's text was changed by an action and that's exactly what it is now. Perfect. In the next video, we will apply these principles that we learned to display a listing in the pop-up. If you don't know what that means, just wait.